Michelle from the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library here to talk to you today about this week's Curiosity Club theme, spinning and weaving and folklore and mythology. Now today it's easy to take for granted how amazing a simple piece of cloth or fabric is. We can easily buy it by the yard and just about anything you would make from cloth, such as clothing or sheets or towels, is easily available for purchase in stores. Now, this is possible because of the industrial production of fabric on large machines, but that wasn't always the case. In fact, prior to the 1700s and 1800s, most households made at least some of their own cloth for such things. And the first step in creating your own fabric or textile is spinning. My friend Trisha is going to show us how to spin fibers into yarn. Uh, my name is Trisha Wagoner, and I'm here today with some spinning tools. Uh, spinning is the process of taking animal and plant fibers and turning them into yarn. Today I have a spinning wheel and a drop spindle. A drop spindle is actually a much older technology for making yarn. And as you can see, it's just a little wheel on a stick that allows you to spin. A spinning wheel is a, a newer technology, and by new I mean 500 years old, um, and it actually spins much faster than the drop spindle. But unlike the drop spindle, you couldn't carry it around, and it was much more expensive to come by. So even after this was invented, a lot of people still spun with the old technology, the drop spindle. Now humans have been spinning fibers for thousands of years. And as such, the art of spinning shows up in many of our oldest tales. In Greek mythology, the Fates, or Mori, controlled the thread of life of every human from birth to death. They were usually depicted as three older women and each had a specific task. Clotho spun each person's thread of life on a spindle, Lachesis measured the thread of life, and Atropos snipped each individual thread of life at death. In the Western European story of Rumpelstiltskin, a desperate young girl asks a trickster for help. She's been assigned the seemingly impossible task of spinning straw into gold. Now, spinning tools also show up in folklore as well, such as the popular tale of Sleeping Beauty, who pricks her finger on a spindle and falls into a deep, magical sleep. After spinning thread, the next step in making fabric is to weave the threads together. This is usually done on a device called a loom, and the loom holds some of the threads in place while the weaver slides other threads between and across them. Spiders weave webs, and because of this, they have been associated with weaving and stories from folklore and mythology. In Greek mythology, there is the story of Arachne, a human that boasted that her weaving skills were far better than those of the goddess Athena. After Athena could find no fault in Arachne's weaving, she spitefully tore Arachne's tapestry to shreds and turned her into the first spider. Spider Grandmother features prominently in the folklore and mythology from American Indian nations such as the Navajo, the Hopi, Ojibwa, and Choctaw. In these stories, Spider Grandmother helps create the world and often helps humans by bringing them fire and protecting them from danger. We're going to become weavers of our own this week with this week's craft. If you weren't able to pick up a craft kit from the Monday market at the library, don't fret. We'll have a link to the instructions on our website. All you need is a paper plate, scissors, a few popsicle sticks, and some yarn. After you've gathered your supplies, you'll want to take your paper plate and make nine slits roughly equidistant around the plate. It doesn't have to be exact. In fact, you can even choose pattern. It's whatever works for you. You'll then take a base yarn and begin wrapping through each slit until you have a yarn framework that you tie off in the middle and leave a tail. With your tail, you'll tie on one of the yarn popsicles you've prepared by wrapping yarn around a popsicle stick.
then what you're going to do is use the popsicle stick like a weaver's shuttle to weave the yarn up and down, in and out, through the threads. As you go around this plate, if you want to change colors or need to change colors, you can do so by just tying on a new popsicle stick. Remember to go over and under and alternate. Until next time, stay creative and keep reading.